Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Carter, the model investor. Uh, we have a sleepy dog guest on the sofa behind us today, and I have to apologize in advance. There is construction happening across the street. Our neighbors, as of last week, decided they wanted to do their very own burr. So that's been fun. Um, anyway, so apologies if you can pick up on the, the drilling and the soaring sounds that you might hear. Um, anyway, so last night I went to a uh, real estate meetup. There was a guest speaker, and one of the topics that they covered and we discussed was finding off-market deals. Um, now, an off-market deal is basically a property that's potentially for sale or is for sale. It's just not listed on the market, so you won't find it on Zillow or Trulia or Realtor.com. It's kind of like a secret. Um, but the benefits of buying off market is you have far less competition. Uh, so, you know, there aren't as many eyes on the property and quite often they can be heavily discounted. Um, basically, you know, I mean, when a property is listed on the market, it's often listed for at the peak of what the seller is hoping to get. But with off market deals, Quite often the seller just wants to move it quickly, they don't want to bother listing it, they may not want to pay a broker fee. Um, I always work with broker for my off-market deals, but quite often investors go directly to the seller, um, and so everyone's saving a little money there. Uh, now how do you find off-market deals? Um, we talked a little bit about that last night, and there's lots of different options. Um, I'm going to mention a few today most of which I've tried, but there are a couple of new ones there that I'm kind of like interested to try, I think. Um, I am definitely interested in this topic um, as I grow my portfolio. Uh, I think it's an interesting tool. It, it just it gives us lots more options as far as um, not just waiting for something to come up online and pop up on the MLS. And so, yeah. I've been like kind of working at building my off-market deal toolbox, I guess you could say. Um, anyway, so I'll run through them really quickly. So number one would be, and this is what I've had most success with, is building a relationship with a deal provider. So someone that brings you these off-market deals. So it might be your broker. In my case, it's my broker. Um, it might be, it, it could be, it could be anyone. It could be another investor even. Um, so you want to build a relationship with them, discuss your criteria, so where you're buying, what kind of properties you're buying, and your price point. Um, obviously that's important because you don't want a deal coming to you that you can't uh, move on because it's too expensive, so that's important to discuss. Um, I don't have my broker bringing me million dollar apartment deals that he expects me to take action on because that's not going to happen. Um, so that's important. Discuss the criteria of your buying. And obviously, if you're not in a position to buy right now, uh, that's an important discussion too because the most important, uh, the key to building this relationship is um, taking action. So if a deal provider brings you a property, if the deal works and the numbers work out and it matches your criteria, you want to be able to take action like right away. So then they know that you are someone that is going to be hassle free, you're going to be able to close, you have the financing ready. Um, and so most likely when another deal comes online, I mean not online, when another deal comes to them off market, you will be at the top of their list of people to call. So ideally you want to work towards being on someone's top or near the top of their uh, buyers list. So I would like to think that I'm close to the top of my broker's um, preferred buyers list now after doing a few deals. Number two would be wholesalers. Um, it's, it's wholesalers job to connect investors with sellers trying to um, get rid of their properties. So get to know the wholesalers in your area. You can find them online. They're at real estate meetups. They're prob there's probably a wholesaler at your gym. They're everywhere. They're easy to find. Get on their mailing list, and then you can be notified when they have a new property. 
um, and you can move on it quickly. Uh, number three, now this won't work for everyone. It doesn't work for me, but it's very popular. Uh, driving for deals. So if you have a car, and I do not have a car, so, uh, this isn't going to work, but um, you can drive around the neighborhood, you can target areas where you would like to invest. I'm not saying drive around all of New Jersey or New York just looking for properties, but um, if you find a target area, drive around those neighborhoods, look for properties, <clears throat> excuse me, look for properties that have overgrown yards or they're looking a little worse for wear. You can also find tax, uh, tax assessments and documents online. So if any of the properties that you find, you take a liking to, you can look up online and see, oh, this property has delinquent taxes. Maybe the seller wants out of a bad situation. You can go and knock on their door. You can call them. It doesn't hurt to ask, would you like to sell your property? Um, and I know a lot of people that have found deals like that, especially in neighborhoods that they're investing in and they're buying on certain blocks. Um, that's a great way to, to find off-market deals. Uh, direct marketing. So my broker found our recent deal through simply just a mail, a mail out. So this one's going to cost you money. It's not a lot. And it's kind of a numbers game, but just send a letter out, introduce yourself. Hey, we're buying in the neighborhood. It doesn't have to be anything specific. Like I've got actually notices before um, saying we'll buy your house for cash. You know, someone used to call me uh, when I had my property in Texas, nonstop calling me. We'll buy your house for cash. Quick close. Like it doesn't have to be an offer like that. It can just simply be where we can connect you to or we are interested in buying this property uh, we know investors who are buying in this area would you consider selling uh, let's have a conversation about it or contact me to discuss it and that's really that's that's an easy way to target a certain zip code or an area that you might be interested in investing in um, now this last one this is new to me I learned about it last night I haven't tried it I think it's kind of a long shot, but people have had success with this. So apparently you can go to the city clerk. Um, I don't know where the city clerk is, but anyway, find your city clerk in your area. I'm sure that's easy enough. Google it. Uh, and it's public record whenever a landlord files for eviction. So they're trying to get a tenant out of one of their properties. You can get all that information. You can get a list of the evictions in the area and the idea is that you might find a landlord who's fed up with trying to get this tenant out. They want to sell the house and be done with it. And then you can swoop in and get this property for a good deal. Now, like I said, I kind of think like it's a long shot. I can't say that until I've tried it myself. So I'm not going to knock it until you try it. But I've filed for eviction before on one of my tenants and I can tell you I did not want to sell my house <laughs> but it, it's another um, option you know it's another strategy that people use to find off-market deals so I mean if I give this a shot one day I can let you know how it goes uh, and I thought it was quite it was quite interesting it's quite time consuming I know there are also uh, third-party websites if you can't find your city clerk's office um, there are websites that can help you find that information. Um, I, I don't know the deal t details on it, like I literally just found it out last night. So uh, I'll look more into that. But um, so yeah, that's kind of the takeaway that I got from last night and how to find these off-market deals. Um, lots of different options. It's basically just trying to uh, kind of funnel down the area where you'd like to invest as far as saving time goes, and then really kind of dive into that. And there's uh, unlimited resources out there to help you try and find these deals. So it just takes time. Um, so yeah, that's about it for today. Um, I will post again soon. I want to do a video on my favorite books because I keep getting questions about that, but I just wanted to touch base on this today. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a good week and happy investing and I will talk to you again soon.
Bye, guys.